maximum speed for emo gandan up to 70 km per hour i am not joking i am serious it really looks damn awesome man I just got two things with my bike that is my keys my charger and the third thing is of course my bike so welcome back to my channel everyone i hope everybody is doing great so guys this video will be in english so that everybody can understand that what i am talking about for my emo gandan turbo and in this video i'm going to do a, like a full showcase of my emo gandan turbo and there's one more thing which i got with my bike uh, and that is this extra pair of key and this extra pair of i guess i can see this like a key for i'll be like explaining you all the mostly the features and like what exactly or like how exactly this bike is which is just right behind me so let's get started right so this is my bike and we'll start from the basic which is for borat i don't know what to say so basically it has four features which is this lock button unlock button uh like where is my bike uh, that find button and this is a remote start so if i just press lock this so now basically the bike is locked and and if somebody like tries to move this bike then this bike will like make a kind of alarm that i will show you let's say for example this and i just press unlock to just stop this sound and if i don't stop the sound then this sound will like automatically go off in the like next 5 seconds this is like a remote start this small lightning symbol uh, just press this twice and the bike is now remotely started and like if i want to turn this bike again off then i have to press this unlock button so now the bike will go off and uh, this is like a uh, where is my bike i'll just uh, make this sound just once if i just press it have a look four five So like basically this will make that buzz noise for like again five seconds until we locate our bike. Let's we'll start from the beginning. Uh, I have this Emo Gandan Turbo, and my version is this. That is 72 volt and 32 ampere. This is the price of it. The day I am shooting this video, and of course it does not include any kind of tax, any kind of PDI. PDI means pre delivery inspection that Emo brand does. When the bike is delivered to that location. Uh, the technician do a, like a full inspection of that bike uh, that like whether the bike is fully functioning or not so uh, basically there is pdi you guys will have question that like do we need license for this i mean to drive this bike or not on the highways on the roads then the simple answer is no don't need any kind of uh, license any kind of insurance any kind of registration for all the emo bikes because basically this or bikes are not bikes they all are kind of bicycles that i can see and even the Uh, official company says and like even the Ontario government says that you don't need any kind of insurance registration or like license to drive this bike the day i'm shooting this video means on 5th of june 2023 the rules me guys i'll leave all the links in the description box below in case you guys want to check this faq page out uh, so guys this is the front of the bike this is how the bike looks from the front and there you go Uh, here gd means on gandan if i am not wrong and this is the front of the light and basically it has like a daylight running lamps and also like a kind of center uh, headlight which we can use at the night i'll show later the bike looks from the side uh, here there's branding of emo then i come once again g if we move back further here we have our exhaust these are not real exhaust they have our two exhaust one on the right side and one on the left side and yeah I had a number plate on this like pre-installed, but then I removed it just to make this bike look a, a bit of more sportier. And here we got our pedal. Now that's how the bike looks uh, with my iPhone camera and with wide angle. This is how the bike is looking, as you can see. This is looking pretty small right now because I'm in my wide angle mode. Just to do a full showcasing, I'm just showing you with the wide angle mode of my iPhone, and yeah. that's how the bike is looking so on the right side uh, here we have our three modes which is this high medium and low mode uh, that basically does nothing it's like uh, just the pickup power for this bike and on the right side uh, this is the cruise control switch a daylight running lamps and this is our main headlight switch then this is not a uh, engine kill switch this is like a hazard lights if i turn this on 
and you can see this one blinker two blinkers and our both these blinkers will start blinking like a kind of emergency lights we have our brake fluid and if i can just remove the silicone cover yeah then this is how does it look here we have our brake i forgot to mention one thing that uh, this brake is like kind of adjustable move this ring and as you can see oh wow wow man this goes pretty like very far that said we have all of, of course horn okay by mistake i pressed it which i shouldn't i'll just turn this off so yeah this is our uh, horn switch this are our uh, side lights or headlight i can say because this uh, second mode does nothing until and unless we set it to high mode i'll just show you on the first mode this is how the bike looks like kind of two eyes one smile and uh, this both these sides will go bright and yeah, on the center this isn't on right now so uh, currently this is like on the low mode if i set it to the high mode then once again it will do absolutely nothing it is just this switch if i turn this on then see then this center light will go on if i turn this off it will go off this first and second does nothing until and unless you turn this on and plus we have uh, like three modes for the center headlight which is i'll just show you and yeah let me just turn this on this is like the full power mode let's turn this off turn this on this is the low power mode and turn this off turn this on and this is like the continuous on off on off mode For passing light i guess if i'm not wrong uh, so like that three modes combines with this switch also turn this and open this is like pretty much uh, spacious i can fit like easily many of the things here actually so yeah uh, here we have our charging port this plug as you can see here so yeah that's our charging port and here we have a usb charger in case you want to charge your phone there we go and on so guys truly speaking i will say one thing that uh, basically uh, these pedals are useless because i tried to drive this bike with the pedals uh, but it was like nearly impossible just because of the rotation because the pedals have only this much rotation just have a look it only turns this much just push and then go up or go down and that's it and that's it yeah you can do the same thing on both the pedals just one second just push and then go up or go down and that's it there you go have the hydraulic disc brake on the front and i guess the, the brake pads will last up to like 6000 kilometers according to the emo website we have red rim on the front tire but we have no rim we just have motors on the back tire the lifetime of the brake pads are 6000 kilometers as you can see here and also uh, the motor is like same across all the motorcycles through emo because the official rules not to have more than 500 watt of motor any kind of electric cycle bicycle motorcycle or like anything on the main feature which is our bluetooth exhaust button volume down volume up next and backward single press this and the speakers will go on so let's just do it bluetooth model the bluetooth so, right now this is in really bluetooth mode but then hold fm tender it will go to, it will just go to the fm mode and just once again tap and hold and all time is now started i will just lower down the volume and yeah of course uh, we have this beautiful flame so like sparkling effect on both the sides of the silencer this is the left side and this is the right side i know it's not pretty visible right now because i'm shooting this video at 522 and 25 degrees so just have a look on this looks damn awesome man to just drive an electric motorcycle with a exhaust seriously man 
then I just press this backward button and the flames will go off and yeah it will sound again the same thing there you go so this is the maximum sound and you know with the full volumes on the Bluetooth exhaust on it really so like the sound is really very very loud nobody can like identify from far or like from even near that this is an electric motorcycle until and unless they see this pedals <laughs> but yeah still this Bluetooth exhaust is really very great just have a look That is how does the bike sounds. And once again guys, I am saying this once again that you guys can drive this kind of electric motorcycle without any kind of number plate, any kind of license or like any kind of registration. Even I don't have a M1 here in Canada right now, the day I am shooting this video, I don't have a M1 which is like the motorcycle license to drive a motorcycle, I mean to drive an official motorcycle in Canada. So why I made this for full showcase video of my Emo Gundam Turbo because like before purchasing this Emo bike, I was researching on YouTube and like I just found I guess just two to three videos of emo gandan turbo uh, and that too like even was not like in depth and so yeah that's the reason i made this full showcase video explaining you guys like the basic features of this bike and yeah that's right guys so i guess i covered most of the part for my emo gandan turbo if you guys have any kind of question then please comment down below or else you guys can even dm into my instagram that is mr vloggers plus link in description even subscribe to my channel if you liked my content and also if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel in yeah. all right guys so more videos will come in the future or like some tips and tricks for this bike uh, some example like how to get a maximum speed for emo gandan up to 70 km per hour i'm not joking I, I am serious this bike can go up to 70 km per hour and even more like up to 100 km per hour on this bike i'll see you guys in the next video till then goodbye sayonara and that's with danya yeah.